I'm doing my presentation on guard designer Alex Tremulus. Alex Tremulus was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in 1982. The Hall of Fame is located in Dearborn, Michigan. Who is Alex Tremulus? Alex was a Greek American car designer. He held positions at Cord Automobile, Duesenberg, General Motors, Tucker Car Corporation, and Ford Motor Company, to name a few. Alex loved cars ever since he was small. He had no design or engineering education. He was self-taught. He really liked the Duesenberg-powered Templar. At the age of 19, he was hired by Duesenberg to design custom car bodies. Alex worked for Gordon Burig at Cord Duesenberg. When Burig left the company in 1936, Alex was named chief stylist at the age of 22. This is when he designed the flexible external exhaust pipes. Alex is also known as the godfather of the space shuttle. World War II broke out, he enlisted in the Air Force hoping to draw airplanes. Alex came up with the idea of a jet-powered fighter interceptor that would launch at a high altitude and then glide back to Earth and land like an airplane. Does this look familiar? That concept eventually became Boeing's Dinosaur Project, which in turn became NASA's Space Shuttle Program. On the left is Alex's design compared to SpaceX today. Look familiar? What did Alex have to do with spaceships and little green men? After news reports in 1947 about a strange aircraft crashing near Roswell, New Mexico, Alex drew his own version of a flying saucer that was published in Airline Pilot magazine. In the early 1950s, he went so far as to patent the design of a flying saucer hood ornament with a dome that lit up. After World War II ended, Alex was asked to join Preston Tucker's new company. What he came up with was the Tucker 48, also called the Tucker Torpedo. Some unique features of the Tucker were six tailpipes, three headlights, the center is a single headlight, it would turn on automatically and also rotate in the direction the car was turning. There was also a safety chamber in front of the passenger compartment. The front windshield was vertically split and able to pop out for safety. The Tucker engine was water cold. It produced 166 horsepower. Only 52 Tucker 48s were ever built, so they were very rare. A Tucker sold at Barrett Jackson for $2.9 million, but most are valued around $1.6 million. If you're interested in learning more about Tucker, I highly recommend this movie. It stars Jeff Bridges as Tucker. After the end of Tucker, Ford hired Alex to work for its advanced design studio. Some of his Accomplishments were the gyro-stabilized two-wheel gyron, the atomic-powered nucleon, and the six-wheel Seattle light in honor for a Seattle World's Fair. This is a Ford X200 concept from 1958. This is what Alex thought cars would look like in the year 2000. Also during his time at Ford, Tremulous and his team would design such notable concepts like the Lincoln Fortura. The famous car designer George Barris used it as his template for the Batmobile. The Ford Gyron also became the Gyronaut X1, which was known as the world's fastest motorcycle. My grandfather on the right worked under Alex at the Ford Design Studio in Michigan in the mid-1950s. Alex would come to the desert a lot and visit my grandpa. Alex is also my dad's godfather. He passed away in 1991 and I never got to meet him, but I feel like I knew him. Alex's final design was the Subaru Bat, which was completed in 1977. It sold from 
1978 until 1987. These were just some of the highlights of Alex's amazing automotive career.